Hi, I'm Garrett Jones with Huntsville Utilities. I'm here to demonstrate today the functions of the bear meter that was purchased by Huntsville Fire and Rescue. This meter has some different functions compared to the meters that we use, but it does detect the same thing as far as proximity and direct contact. The purpose of this meter is to detect energized electrical lines. I will try to show you a lot of different situations where you might use this meter so that you can be familiar with how it will respond in your situation. For example, insulated underground lines will be more difficult to pick up in proximity mode due to the amount of insulation around the lines. You'll see the overhead lines or uninsulated wires. The proximity detects energy at much further distance. Let's start with a quick explanation of the various lines that you will encounter in our service area. The top left here is our overhead secondary triplex. Here's the underground triplex and you'll see those in residential neighborhoods. A lot of commercial businesses have underground service, open route secondary, and all it is is just three wires that are separate and they're not touching. Two alt uh, copper that's on the very bottom. These wires our overhead uh, primary wires. We use the top one here for the transmission that we use to feed our substations. The 477 all the way down to the number six. We use those for distribution feeds. The bottom wires are copper. The number four and the number six, we use those for grounds and some of them will be energized, but most of the time we use them for grounds on transformers and some of our equipment. Uh, the number two wire there, it's coated, but it's not have any kind of insulation value. So it would not be safe to come up and just grab it just because it's got an insula insulation coating on it. These are examples of telephone trunk lines. These are different ones that you might see and you might encounter out in the field. The TV cable here towards the bottom are also some examples of different things that you may encounter and see out in the field and could get them confused with some of ours. In doubt, always use your digital tester and check and make sure you don't pick up any voltage or anything on it. If the wire has an insulated coating on it, you're going to have to get direct contact with it. We've got a guy wire that we use. Um, they go from the tops of the poles down to the ground to support them. It is bare wire. It does have a steel core in it and it does sometimes have the potential to be energized if it gets across the energized phase. Now I'm going to show you the functions of the bare meter. Prior to using the meter, it should be in the off position. And you turn it to test mode, you should get an audible alarm. If you do not have an audible alarm during test mode, Turn the meter around, pull the back off, and check the 9 volt battery. Once you've changed the battery out, check your meter again in test mode. Make sure you have an audible alarm. And then prior to using the meter, turn it to proximity. Now you're ready to check the electrical line. So you take your, take your meter and whatever electrical source that you're wanting to test to see if there's any voltage on it, you can touch to it. Now that being said, with the underground cable that we have, it's got the outer jacket and the coating on the outside for insulation value. It's not, it's going to be really hard to pick up the proximity um, through the actual underground cable itself without having a source that's um, like an overhead source or um, we do have test points on the back of the elbows showing right there. Um, we recommend you not pull those off. Um, <clears throat> if you need anything you can just call us and we'll come over here and test it for you. But for some reason if you pull up on a car, car wreck or any kind of active emergency scene and you see one of those that's off, you can use it and test it to that test point and it'll give you a more accurate reading. This right here is the three-phase 300 kVA transformer. It's a 277-480 on the secondary side, and it's 7,200 volts per phase 
on the primary side. The primary side here that he is pointing to um, <clears throat> shows, and he's got the meter on, and it shows it's not detecting any voltage. And the reason why is because the proximity isn't picking it up through our insulated underground cable. Now he's going to move to the secondary side. The secondary side's always got the open spades, and he'll show you he's p detecting voltage on all three of the spades there on the secondary side. Let's just say that you're responding to an emergency call and you come across a meter base that looks just like this. What it is, it's an underground meter base. It's fed from below the ground and it's coming in here. The, the source side will be made up here on the left and that'll be 120, 240 across. So it'll be 120 volts from phase to neutral. And then if you go across both phases, you'll have 240 volts. As you can tell, on this scenario, <clears throat> he had to get the meter a lot closer to the source where the secondary feed is. This is a 120 plug that you would see in normally a residential house. And we'll show you the demonstration for it. Say that you have to pull a meter for a structure fire on a, on a house. The top side of the meter base on the lugs is your source side and the bottom side is the load side. So whenever you are pulling the meter and the source side going inside the house is what is de-energized. But always remember that the source side, just because you um, pull the meter, the source side from us will stay energized. The circuit that we're next to right now is energized. And it, the size wire is 477 and it's bare aluminum. Most of the time we have these that feeds straight out of our substations. And you know, a lot of times you'll see them run it. They run down along the side of the road on a highway. Some of them in residential subdivisions. Depends on if it's an overhead or underground subdivision. Um, now we're just going to show you we're approximately five to six foot away from the energized overhead circuit. Now that you've seen what the meter can do, I want to remind you a few safety tips. Treat all lines as energized until they have been de-energized, tested, and grounded. This equipment is designed to recognize energized lines, but if you have a doubt, always use caution and follow your department protocol. Huntsville Utilities will always be available to assist you at any time. We have crews on call 24-7. Please stay safe and look out for one another.